Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something that is simple yet so powerful. I am going to show you how to build a Chrome extension that acts as your assistant on web pages. But not only am I going to show you how to build it, I'm going to give it to you for free. I'm going to give you the files that you need to get this started because it is so complicated to build a Chrome extension. It will fry your brain. So if you're in the school, you get access to this. I have a marketing automation school. Uh, and if you're not in the school, all you have to do is go to our website, which is listed in the details below and fill out the form for this automation and we'll give you all the files for it. So let me jump in and give you a preview of what we built here and then I'll get into the technical details. So here's that quick example before we get into the build. We're gonna use my LinkedIn page for this first one. Um, so we built the Chrome extension and we called it Lab Lens. It's pinned up here and when you click it, it opens up down here. You expand it, it's circling, doesn't mean it's waiting for anything other than your input. So I'm gonna ask it to rank my LinkedIn profile page. Please rank this page. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. It's scanning the web page. It scans web pages only, not full websites. It's now analyzing the data and it's generating a response. Oh, wee! Okay. So my LinkedIn profile that it's looking at right now, it gives me an 8 out of 10. It lists the strengths that I have, what is clear, what it likes about it. And then it also gives me areas for improvement, which is important. Um, I could add more, the about section could be expanded, yada, 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 you know. So you can take these advice points that it's giving and improve, you know, based upon what it's telling you. Uh, so that's just a quick example of what it can do. I'm going to go back and we'll play with it more later and see what else we can do with it. But for now, let's jump into the build and get a little technical. So we're going to build a Lab Lens AI Chrome extension. The first thing we want to do is put in a custom webhook right here and open the webhook and copy the address that you see right to your clipboard by clicking that. Then click OK and now we are going to go into my school to download the Lab Lens files. So my school is called the AI Marketing Automation Lab and what we're about is creating AI automations that make the lives of marketers and salespeople easier. I've been a marketer for 15 years. I've been in the trenches and we need to begin working smarter, not harder. And that's what AI does for us. Inside the school, we are also building a community of like-minded professionals that can bounce ideas off of each other and fuel each other's successes. And last but not least, this is completely about staying ahead of your competition when it comes to AI. AI is ever changing. What is new today is old tomorrow and it is not going away. So like I said earlier, because I am in the school downloading these files, you will not have to be a part of the school to get this. We are going to make this accessible for free by filling out a form on our website and I'll show you that later. So we're going to go in, we're going to click download and now we have them here. So we're just going to save that. And once you have those files, you're going to want to unzip them. And then you're going to change the file folder name to Lab Lens AI. And you're going to want to open the content JS file. Open that with a text editor. You want it to be able to save as plain text. You don't want it to be any kind of rich format or HTML. And on here, we're going to go down and we're going to look for the webhook right here. See it right here. We're looking for this URL. So this one you're going to highlight. And this is where you're going to take the webhook that you copied from your module and you're going to replace it right there and paste it. Then you're going to want to click save. So once we do that, we're going to head into our Chrome extensions. So because this is a Chrome extension, you can't do this outside of Chrome. It'll only work in the Chrome browser. So we're going to go to our extensions here, manage extensions at the bottom. And inside your Chrome extensions, you're going to switch on developer mode. So once that is turned on, we're going to load and unpack over here. 
we're going to go ahead and select our lab lens AI folder uh, you don't want to open it you want to select the entire folder and remember we did unzip this folder click select it'll upload it and if you go to my browser on LinkedIn on my tab I'm going to go to extensions and find the lab lens here and I'm going to pin this one so let's click it and there we go we got lab lens opening up down here like I showed you earlier and now let's make sure that our make module is working so right click on the webhook we're going to run this module only and go back over to our lab lens AI and just type hello accepted okay that means that it's working. The Make Automation is officially communicating with LabLens AI. So now we're going to build the rest of this out. So what we need to do next is add in a text parser. This is going to be HTML to text. Uh, we're going to open this up and we want to put in page HTML. We're going to steal it from here. Now we're putting in a router right here. Uh, so primarily we're using Claude Sonnet 3.5 for this. Uh, because it's great, you know I like it, um, but a lot of times Claude gets overrun. Uh, too many people are using it and it breaks because everybody likes it. So it ends up being down a lot. So we have an optional route over here going to GPT-40. So I'll show you how that works. But first, let's put in the router. And we're going to put a filter over here. And we're going to say, we're calling it the label if not GPT. So the condition is message and text operator does not contain the letters GPT. Just like that, we're gonna click OK. And basically what we're gonna do is if Claude is not responding or say we want a second opinion on something, we're just gonna type GPT into our prompt, into LabLens AI, and it will go to GPT instead. So let's add in the Claude module now. I'm putting in 3.5 Sonnet because it can see images as well as process the HTML text at the same time, and we love that. And then the first role, we're gonna put in user, and then under source, we have the file name, and that's screenshot. We'll select it from there, from the webhook. And the data is screenshot data under here. That also comes from the webhook. And after this, we're gonna scroll down and the second role is going to be labeled assistant. And here we already have preloaded our prompt. So when you download the template, all of this will already be in here for you. All the instructions for your Chrome extension assistant. The role is going to be user. And then our content type is going to be text. In text, type in website text. And then you're going to select text from the text parser here. And then we have conversation history that you want to type in, and then we're including that from the initial webhook. This way, Claude has access to three sets of information. It has text from the website, it has the image from the website, which you can analyze, and then it has the history of the entire conversation in that chat window from that web page. So go ahead and click OK. The last thing we're going to do is we're adding a webhook response. Uh, just put in here status 200 and we're going to put in the text response right here under body and it, that's going to be coming from Claude. Now we're going to go down to this branch and we're going to do the same thing here in the filter. So label is going to be if GPT, message and text operator contains GPT. Here you're adding an open AI connection and then under model, we're going to be using GPT-40 because that can also see images. The first role is going to be user and then image input type is going to be image file. And then we have the image file name and that's coming from the webhook. So you're going to want to make sure those are selected as same as the image data, which is coming from the webhook. So now the role is going to be assistant and the same instructions that we use for Claude we put here as well, but you can modify these any way that you want. The role is going to be user and text content again is the same information we put into the Claude module. All right, max tokens, we're going to put in 2048. We're going to click OK. Then we're adding the web hook. You can clone the webhook that's right up here, but remember we do have to change this in the body because now it's pulling from uh, this module, the ChatGPT module, and it's not pulling from Claude. So go ahead and click OK. Make sure you save this. 
And now we're gonna go give it a test spin and do some fun stuff. All right, let's have some fun. So back on my LinkedIn profile, we already did that. We know I need to improve it by two points. But then I found this post here that I wanna interact it with. So first of all, I just appreciate that Spotify made a huge banner like this. Our employees aren't children. Spotify will continue working remotely. Um, so uh, Lab Lens Light AI is here. It's ready for me to put in some response. Um, it's ready for me to put in a little, little, it's ready for me to ask it some questions. So I'll ask it, what do you think about this post by Mark Gilbert? And here it gives us a response. The, this LinkedIn post highlights Spotify's strong commitment to remote work and flexible work policies. Yes. Uh, the company is taking a clear stance by publicly declaring their continued support for remote work through both their yada, yada, yada. You get the point, it has an opinion. Now, I want to comment on this. So, um, uh, can you give me uh, options to leave a comment on this post? Here are some thoughtful comment options you could leave on the LinkedIn post. Here's one that sounds professional and supportive. Could be me sometimes. Great to see Spotify leading by example with their progressive remote work policy. This is kind of trust this is this kind of trust-based approach to workplace flexibility is exactly what modern organizations need. Uh, and they give you a few. So literally you can just copy and paste and make a comment. You don't have to think that hard. Work smarter, not harder. Uh, yeah, so what else can I do with this here? I'm um, thinking about it. Oh, okay. So I love this. I want to get behind this. You know what? I want to write a blog post about this. Write me a blog post about this topic. Look at this assistant. It just, it just does what I ask, as a good assistant should. Based on our conversation, see, this is what we set up in our make automation that it remembers the conversation that we've been having. So based on our conversation, here's a blog post about Spotify's remote work stance. So I have a nice little blog post here. I'm sure if I gave it a prompt that I wanted it to be 800 words or something like that, I didn't do that, but that is possible. So yeah, that's just, you know, just some examples um, of LinkedIn, but let's actually go look at some websites. So coming over here to our website, uh, you could see I already have a Lab Lens AI set up here and it has our previous conversation that I've had with it. So I am going to ask it to please review this page and give me improvement ideas. I spelled improvement wrong. But it's okay. I have a college degree. That means I know what I'm doing when it comes to words sometimes. All right, let's see what it's going to give us. All right, so it reviewed the page. Based on the review of my page here are the key improvement suggestions. User experience and navigation, content strategy, uh, what else? Visual elements can be increased, trust building by uh, logos, logos and social proof, you know, all the basics that we all know. So it gave me a little bit of feedback that I can use. You can also go to your competitor's web page and ask it what they are, like, you know, what can I steal from here to do on my website to, you know, make it better. Uh, something else, oh, I just had the idea that I wanted to try. Uh, right, let's do the chat GPT prompt. So I just got this from Claude. So now I'm gonna do uh, GPT. What do you think of this web page? So now in our make automation, it since it says GPT in it, it is not going to go the Claude route. The router is going to put it towards chat GPT. And you will know that it is ChatGPT because it's going to have all sorts of symbols in it. This is how ChatGPT gives itself away. Hashtags, dashes, asterisk signs, like, it's, it's obvious. 
but yeah, so now I have another evaluation of the page. So I have two opinions, and as you know out in the world, it's better to have two opinions than one. So now I, um, I looked up uh, charts. I looked up a uh, sales projections chart, and we're gonna have our assistant analyze this chart for us and let us know what it's about. So can you explain this uh, hmm, 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 sales projections graph to me? There it goes. The line chart shows projected revenue growth over a 10 year period from 2016 to 2025. Very true. We see that right there. Uh, it tells you what the blue line represents, the historical and projected revenue. And I mean, this is this is good. I like this. For people like me, I like things visual, but I always need to know the why and understand things. And when things are explained to me like this, I get it better. So you can have this decipher complex things that you come across for you. It is your assistant. Treat it like an assistant. Ask it questions. Have it help you write emails. Have it write blog posts for you. Analyze images. Everything that I just showed you, just have fun with it. That's it. That's the Chrome extension we built, Lab Lens AI. And as I mentioned before, this is free. This is free for you to download. You do not need to be a part of my school. The AI Marketing Automation Lab. All you need to do is go to the website link in the description below and fill out the form to access the, these files and we will email them to you right away. I appreciate you watching my videos. I love doing this. Uh, this one today is very powerful and I look forward to seeing y'all next time. I'm Kelly. Bye-bye.